Hi Libra, my name is Heather. Thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. This reading is for the Sun, Moon, Rising sign of Libra for the month of October. It is a general reading, which means that the messages may or may not resonate for you, which is also why I suggest and recommend that you check out your Moon and Rising sign readings. Okay, so let's see what's ener what energies are around Libra for the month of Oh, we got two right there. Month of October. Okay, so we start out here with the world and justice. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Five of Pentacles. We have the Five of Cups. We have the Four of Swords. We have the Five of Swords. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the Lovers. And we have the Four of Cups. Okay, so just give me one moment here, Libra. The one thing I can point out, Pentacles in this recent past position, it does look like any kind of hardships, especially financial hardships or hardships with resources or feeling stability are going to be coming to a close, but you still have some obstacles here and some self-reflection that you do need to do. It does look like there is some new opportunity, some kind of project or... Um, opportunity that is you're very passionate and excited about or allows you to be um, tap into what you get passionate and excited about so it's allowing you to be creative some kind of creative project here is that's in your foundation you are specifically represented here by the world so that this does indicate a chapter is ending and a new one is beginning and here is this new one here however that plays out in your life so being a card of passion, creativity, enthusiasm. This is you actually taking action here related to something, um, but this new beginning, this new opportunity, it can represent a new relationship, but one that would be very intense and fiery and um, a lot of passion in it. If it is related to work or even just what you're doing out in the world and putting out in the world, this can indicate um, something that's allowing you to actually tap into your artistic creative side, even if you're not artsy, um, just your creative side and use skill sets that you normally don't get to showcase and highlight lead movement here related to this card. But some of you could even be planning a trip here. I don't, I'm not really seeing that for a lot of you, but for some of you, that's how that's playing out. Or you could be moving. Um, that can indicate a moving with the, that movement, that fire wand energy. But with one chapter ending and a new beginning, this is, you know, you successfully completed one stage of your life. So this is you moving on to the next. So whatever it is, it's bringing balance and you are making a decision related to this. Uh, for some of you, a legal matter might even, I'm just throwing this out there, this will be relevant for just a few of you, but some kind of legal matter, there could be a decision finally being made. I feel like it's not turning out, if that's the case, quite as you had hoped. With this Five of Cups crowning you, there's still, it's not that it's not successful or in your favor, it's just you were hoping for more. But I feel like the decision is balanced and fair, if that's the case. Um, with this Five of Cups um, crowning you, I do feel like there's this little bit of a um, sense of loss. Like you've had to give up things for this new opportunity or this new project here. Uh, and you're kind of mourning that, you're focusing on that, on the things that you've had to let go or release. So there is other things behind you here. You just need to focus on that. And, fo and so this is the, the advice with this card is focus on, on the, the, the new things that are coming in for you and the benefits that you're achieving that way. Uh, now to three months from now, you do have the Four of Swords. So I do feel like there is this period or going to be a period of rest for you, Libra, where you're kind of reflecting, reflecting on the changes that have happened, reflecting on this chapter, this life cycle that has come to completion and now your next stage. And you're kind of like planning that and thinking that through before you commit too deeply into something new here. With the Five of Swords in your challenge, strengths and challenge position here, doing something successfully but it is coming at a cost and again that's that five of cups here too and I feel like this is what you're really reflecting on is the cost and and uh, making sure that you're minimizing any negative side effects from the decisions that you're making okay 
in your environment though you do have the six of pentacles so this is a card of reciprocity telling me is that you do have the support if you need it um, for some of you though you could be helping and supporting other people in your hopes and fears you have the lovers so the lovers can represent a relationship um, also signify a decision being made the lovers card and I feel like that is because it used to be the card of choice and um, so I feel like for I feel like for many of you that's how this is playing out and there's this fear that you're making the wrong decision or the wrong choice uh, because you do have the four of cups here too and this is a card of not feeling fulfilled a bit a feeling apathy here so what I do want to say with this if for others of you you're hoping for a relationship or you're hoping for that person to come in and this doesn't even have to be a romantic relationship it can can be for some of you but for, for others of you this can be relationships related to work um, can even just be family members as well but it's a deep bond deep connection really being on the same page with another person here and with the four of cups as this outcome here and this card of apathy, I feel like there's this fear that you have of not, the decision that you're making not emotionally sustaining you, if that makes sense for you, Libra. But what I do want to tell you is the universe is bringing in this cup for you. You see this hand that's extended out from the clouds. And this is the universe spirit providing you this opportunity for emotional fulfillment. So I do feel like what this card is saying is that any if, if this is related to a fear for you, um, there's no reason for that. If this is a hope and you're wanting a connection, a deep connection with someone else, then you want to make sure or that connection will be coming in for you and not to dwell on it too much, not to overthink it, Libra. Okay, so I'm going to pull an Archangel Power Tarot card for you. Final messages from Spirit. Okay. And you have the Knight of Michael. So this is time for you to choose logic over emotion because there's going to be sudden changes happening for you. And there's going to be times where you're going to have to move quickly to seize the moment so it doesn't pass you by. And I'm going to pull an animal speak rune as well. See what animal energy is around you, Libra, for the month of October. Okay, so we have, we've got the crane, secret guard. I am going to read from the book because it's been a while since I've used the, the uh, animal speak runes. And I want to make sure I give you all the messages. So when this rune appears, it is alerting you to something that you should watch out for and take more care of. There is usually some hidden protection around you, and it may also be a sign that you need to be that you need to be the hidden protector of someone else. So this is that card of six of pentacles where you know someone's there to help you out, or perhaps you're helping someone else out. Okay. And let's see what else we have. So the noise of thousand of cranes together is legendary, carrying an almost ancient and untamed quality. Their incredibly loud whoops are used to coordinate movements, defend territories, find mates, and keep lifelong mates together, all functions of a traditional guard at the gates of your life. So the big message is know that either you're a guard for someone else, you're protecting someone else, or someone else is there to protect you in what it is that you're doing um, and putting out there, Libra, in the month of October. So I hope you enjoyed this reading. Be sure to like, share, subscribe, click on the notification bell so you're notified when the November readings come out. I hope you enjoyed this. Enjoy the month and take care. See you next time. Take care.